Good morning. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Johnny and my family and I have been coming to Dunvant since September last year. Um, and I just wanted to share um, a thought with you this morning. Um, I wonder if, like me, lockdown presents a bit of an opportunity for some navel gazing. And if, like me, or if you are like me, navel gazing is quite a, a dangerous thing. Um, as I look on myself, I consider the things that I have said, the things that I have done, the things that I have thought in my head, and I'm reminded that I'm a, a long, long way away from that perfect child of God that I long to be. During my life, uh, the con my consciousness of, of how sinful I am has at times been quite debilitating. And I believe the devil has really played on that. He's, he's asked me questions. How could God love you? How could God accept you as his child when you so often live in a way that does not glorify God as you should? Well, I want to share with you uh, my favourite verse from any song ever written. Um, and it's the, the Christian hymn, Before the Throne of God Above. And it's the second verse which has meant an awful lot to me over the years, especially when these thoughts have, have come into my head. And it says this, When Satan tempts me to despair and tells me of the guilt within, upward I look and see him, Jesus. I see him there who made an end to all my sin. Because the sinless Saviour died, my sinful soul is counted free. For God the just is satisfied to look on him and pardon me. I wonder if during this lockdown you've done some navel gazing. And perhaps the devil has said to you, how could God accept you? How could God accept you when you think those things, when you have done those things, when you've said those things, well the answer is very simple. It's not because of you, it's because of Jesus. The Bible tells us that if we trust in Jesus, when God looks at you and God looks at me, he sees Jesus' righteousness because Jesus died for our sins once and for all time. I want to read you some words from, from Hebrews chapter 10 verses 10 to 14, which, which sum this up really well. God's will was for us to be made holy by the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ, once and for all time. Under the old covenant, the priest stands and ministers before the altar day after day, offering the same sacrifices again and again, which can never take away sins. But our high priest, that's Jesus, offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for sins, good for all time. Then he sat down in the place of honour at God's right hand. There he waits until his enemies are humbled and made a footstool under his feet. For by that one offering, he forever made perfect those who are being made holy. And that's God's people, people who trust in Jesus. I just want to encourage you this morning Perhaps if you find yourself doing some navel gazing during this lockdown, remember God loves you so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to sacrifice himself for our sins once and for all time. Now if you trust in him, if he is your Lord, when God looks at you, he looks adoringly at you, lovingly at you, as a holy and blameless child of God, covered in Jesus' righteousness. This is real hope that can never be stripped from us. Remember Jesus. It's all about what he has done and what he continues to do as he transforms you into that perfect child of God.